We live at a time where we can view the universe right from our backyards. Look at all these fascinating photos taken by world telescopes everywhere. They help us understand the universe and our place within it. There is a strong likelihood that when you watch television, you will see these photos as they come through all the time. It could be one of these, taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, or another like this, taken by the James Webb Telescope, NASA's newest telescope during the making of this video. These images are perhaps the greatest we have ever seen of the universe, but have you ever wondered how it began, how it became such routine to see photos like this? That is why in this video, we will learn about the origin of astrophotography. But before we begin, it is important that we reflect upon the history of photography. Understanding it will help us trace its origin. Have you ever noticed that it is now a part of our daily lives to see and take photographs of the world all the time? Cameras could likely be one of the most used technologies of our day, but is this how it has always been? Have we always had the opportunity to take a camera out of our pockets whenever we want to quickly snap a photo of a place frozen in time? The truth is that we have adapted relatively quickly in this modern world of ours. We forget the fact that real world images have only existed just over the last 150 years. There once lived a man by the name of William Henry Fox Tailbot. He was a scientist, mathematician, and author. He is often remarked as one of the founders of photography because he is known for producing his first photogenic drawings. However, the first real photograph was taken by Joseph Niesephor Niepce. He invented the first camera, as well as the first photograph, which was taken in 1827. It is called the Niepce Heliograph after Joseph Niepce himself. As years followed, camera and technology improved. However, the problem was that they required an extremely slow exposure speed. The Niepce heliograph indeed took eight hours to photograph. It was not until 1878 when the first high-speed cameras were invented. However, if we trace back to the year 1850 yet again, we can reflect upon a remarkable photograph that changed the way we see ourselves. It was the first image of a star, frozen in time. The photograph was of the star Vega. It was taken by William Bond and John Adams Wimpole in 1850. With a 20 minute exposure time, the result was truly remarkable. Vega, as seen in the photograph, may be off-center, but it includes four large spikes in every direction, signifying the true power and brightness of this faraway world. This was the beginning of a new era, the beginning of astrophotography. Astrophotography can be used to express our universe in the greatest of ways. It gives ourselves the opportunity to see nature in invisible ways to our own eyes. And that is why many people consider photography to be a remarkable thing. It can be expressed as an art, image, or just a memory of a past experience. We must feel grateful to have the opportunity to capture a place motionless in time. Indeed, this video of which you are watching would never be possible unless it was for the invention of photography. Photography and astrophotography is a way to connect and express creativity from all cultures across the world. You may begin at any time.
Hello, thank you for visiting Science Appreciated, a journey of which we thrive to search for worlds using the power of knowledge and imagination. This video was made to help you understand the origin of astrophotography and how it has helped us understand the universe more than ever before. Please do feel free to share some of your own photography photos in the description below to share some of your own frozen experiences. Or follow Science Appreciated on Instagram, where you can find some of my own astrophotography images and images of our own natural environment. The link is in the description below. I do indeed plan on beginning a new edition of Science Appreciated called Behind the Scenes. This is where I hope to post Photoshop tutorials on how I edit my own astrophotography images and much more. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe to help support this channel. Until next time, stay curious and never stop exploring. Thanks for visiting Science Appreciated. I appreciate you being here.